there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and welcome back if you're joining me again. Today's class is a compact 30 minute vinyasa flow class and it's a practice designed to invigorate your whole body and shake off any lethargy you may be feeling. And it's part three of the Energize series of classes. If you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me creating and posting each week, I'm on Patreon. All the details are in the description below. I really hope you enjoy your practice. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. And begin your practice coming into child's pose at the back of your mat. Place your knees a little wider than your hips, big toes to touch and bring your arms alongside your body. Settle into a shape where your forehead can rest. You cultivate a feeling of softness across your upper back so your shoulder blades fall open. Your arms hang loose. Softening your jaw and your cheeks. And let there be an intention of grounding yourself here, letting go of any excess thoughts. Make some space for yourself to practice being present to each moment as it unfolds. Encouraging your attention to land softly in your body. And from this gentle place, start to observe your natural breath. Give your mind this anchor. Experience each breath and the pauses that punctuate the movement of your breath. Take three more cycles of breath. And go ahead, reach your arms forward now. Widen your knees further apart and then walk your hands over to the right. Create a curve through the left side of your body as you reach your left fingertips away from your waist. And feel free to raise your buttocks away from your heels to ease any discomfort in the knees if that feels best through this sequence. Start to expand your breath physically into the spaces between your ribs. And mentally nudging the space between your breath as it flows. Walk your left hand back to the midline of your mat and thread the needle. Weave your right arm under your left. Turn and rest on your right side cheek. Take three slow Calm breathe. And then coming back to centre, bring your arms forward and walk your hands over to your left. Invite the right side of your body to lengthen and to curve. And then come back through centre and twist, right hand to the centre of your mat, left arm under, thread the needle. And return to centre, make your way up onto all fours, stepping your knees under your hips. And we'll glide through a few rounds of cat and cow arching and rounding your spine, bathing your movement with your breath and just starting to physically open your side body, mobilize your spine, allowing you to deepen your breath, giving your lungs, your diaphragm more interior space to move. 
Next, exhale, take your buttocks to your heels, land softly back into your child's pose. Settle and pause. Breathe easy. Feel your breath just as it is, unrushed. And take it with it with you now as you flow. So you're going to edge your fingertips a little further forward. And on an inhale, glide up onto all fours and then drift your hips forward. Firm your arms straight and arch into seal pose. So legs engage, shins down, legs squeezing toward one another. And then on an exhale, flow back into your child's pose, buttocks to your heels. Again, all fours on the new breath, hips forward, heart lifts. Exhale, child's pose. Once more, inhale, curl forward into seal pose. And this time, soften your elbows and lower to your belly. Walk your fingertips wide off the side edges of your mat, little forward of your shoulders, keeping your hands tented, elbows pointing up. For a flowing cobra on your inhale, lift your chest. And on your exhale, peel down. Inhale and lift. And now soften just your right shoulder toward the floor. Look out over your left shoulder. Inhale, return to cobra. Exhale, soften your left shoulder toward the floor. Look to your right. Last one, inhale, cobra on the fingertips. And lower. Press back to your child's pose, balasana. And then take the next few cycles of breath to make your way into your first downward facing dog. Take a longer stride between your hands and your feet than you're normally accustomed to and then bend your knees generously. So concentrate on elongating your side waist and your spine, reaching your hips away from your hands so you find length and space now through the length of your spine. On an inhale, shift forward to plank pose, settle and pause here for a moment, actively pressing the floor away, fingertips, knuckles, perimeter of your hands, then engaging your thighs, your low belly to stay buoyant, stable through the front line of your body, building strength, stability. On your exhale, return to downward facing dog. As you go, take your right hand toward your left shin and explore a light twist to your left and then return to plank pose on your inhale exhale downward facing dog with a twist to your left hand toward your right shin inhale plank pose exhale press back downward facing dog pike your hips high aim your heels heavy toward the floor Take a full breath in together, pause, and a complete breath out. Bend your knees now, gaze forward, and travel lightly to the top of your mat. Open your heart forward on your inhale. Exhale and fold Uttanasana, pause for a few breaths, soft bend in your knees. And try and feel yourself folding from your hips there, allowing your head to hang heavy. On your next breath in, rise slow to stand, sweep your arms overhead, press your palms, and then lower your prayer hands to your heart. We'll build our flow now. On your inhale, reach your arms over here, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. On your exhale, step your right foot back for low lunge. Tap the right knee down. Keep your right toes tucked. Once you're steady, reach your arms overhead. And just see that your left foot, right knee is staggered. Hips width apart. 
Press your right buttocks lightly forward. Anchor your left heel heavy for stability. Then from this foundation, moving from your core, open into a twist to your left. Send your left arm back, your right arm forward at shoulder height. On your inhale, return to centre, arms overhead. On your exhale, twist to your right, right arm back, left arm forward. On your inhale now, remain in your twist, reverse your lunge. Either set your right hand to the small of your back for support or right hand to your right heel if it feels close. Reach your left arm up and back. And then on an exhale, windmill your hands to the floor, set up for Ardha, Hanumanasana, half splits, fingertips under the shoulders, drift the hips back, work towards straightening your left leg, flexing your toes. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the front of your spine. Exhale, fold. Two more breaths. Lunging forward and stepping up to the top of your mat. Hands to shins, lift and open. Fold and release. Rise tall, come to stand. Hands to prayer, center of your chest. Left side, inhale, arms sweep overhead. Forward fold over your legs. Breath in, lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your left foot back for low lunge. Left knee softly to the floor, finding your solid base of support through the lower body, reach your arms overhead. And then twisting to your right now, tee out your arms. Inhale, come back to centre. Twist to your left, finding space across your chest through the reach of your arms, your fingers. Next inhale, reverse your lunge, left hand low, right arm reaches up and back. And on your exhale, hands to the floor, transition into the half splits. Pause and breathe here. Firming your right quads and digging your right heel into the mat. On your inhale, return to lunge. And this time we'll step back through a vinyasa. Plank on your inhale. Lower to your belly. Exhale. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just resisting that temptation to fidget here, be still. Offer your eyes a steady point of focus. Next sequence, we'll repeat three times. We'll begin slow just to find your form and integrity and then we'll flow one movement, one breath. So drop a few breadcrumbs in each of the shapes so you can return to them with ease as we flow. Slowly raise your right leg up and back, down dog splits. You're lifting from your inner right thigh, squaring your hips. On your exhale, step your right foot to your hands, transitioning into reverse warrior. Take your time, set and anchor your feet, rise slow, lunge deep, reach your right arm up and back. Finding a sustainable shape where your breath feels even, easeful. Take another breath in. On your exhale, triangle pose. Straighten your right leg. Motion your hips to the left as you reach forward and down with your right hand. Left arm extends up toward the ceiling. Slow the rhythm of your breath. Walking your awareness down into your body. Feeling the parts of your body working to stabilize you. 
and see if you can deliberately soften any over effort and just encourage your breath to move through your shape freely. Next breath in, reverse your warrior, re-lunge your right knee just for a beat. Exhale, transition into runner's lunge twist. Windmill your left hand to the floor, pop up onto the back toes, circle your right arm up toward the ceiling. And keep your left thigh buoyant and engaged. Right hip hugging in toward your midline. Take one more breath. Exhale, right hand to the floor, coming into pyramid variation. Lift your hips, straighten your legs, come high on the balls of your left toes and then fold over the midline of your right thigh. Moving with your breath, inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Exhale, refold over your leg. One more cycle of breath. Rebend your right knee and step back, downward facing dog. And we'll flow. Come forward to your high pusher. Exhale, lower to the floor for locust pose this time. Reach your arms alongside your body. Invite your inhale to lift you, arms, chest, legs, engaging the back body. Exhale, release. And press back, downward facing dog. Making contact with your breath. Breathing a long, steady breath in, a little pause, and a long, calm breath out. Take two more. Inhale, slowly raise your left leg up and back, down dog splits. And then on your exhale, step up, reverse your warrior. Set your feet steady, rise, reach back with your inhale, pause and hold in your shape. Drawing energy up from your feet, your legs, bowing the left side of your body. On your exhale now, straighten your legs and find your way into triangle pose, trikonasana, here to pause. Notice if you have some space to soften the right side of your ribs down to create a little bit more length through the left side of your waist. Inhale here, reverse your warrior, one breath. Exhale, runner's lunge twist. Right hand to the floor, circle your left hand up toward the ceiling. Three breaths. Release from your twist, fingertips to the floor, straighten your legs for pyramid variation. Inhale to lift, find length through the front of your spine. Exhale and fold. If it feels good, just keep moving with your breath, lengthening, folding a little deeper. Lunging forward and stepping back, downward facing dog. Plank on your inhale. Lower to your belly, exhale. Inhale for locust pose. Lifting from the floor, chest, arms, legs. Exhale, soften down, glide back, downward facing dog. So we'll move together now, breath to movement. Two more rounds and we'll add some deeper back bends into our flow. Raise your right leg up and back, down dog splits. Exhale, right foot to your hands, anchor your feet. Rising up, reverse your warrior on your in breath. Exhale, straighten your legs. Reach into Trikonasana Triangle. 
Inhale, reverse your warrior, re-bend your right knee. Exhale, runner's lunge twist, left hand to the floor, right hand circles up. Gaze up, spot your thumb. Hands to the floor, lift the hips, straighten your legs, pyramid variation, take a breath. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Return to your lunge. And step back, downward facing dog. And pause here or take a flow, high push up. Chaturanga, low push up. Upward facing dog or locust, your choice. And downward facing dog. Left side. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot to your hands, right heel grounds. Press down where you touch down to rise up, reverse your warrior. And triangle pose. Inhale, reverse. Left arm reaches up and back. Exhale, runner's lunge twist. Right hand to the floor, left arm circles up. Hands to the floor, frame your left foot, lift the hips, take a breath. Exhale, fold in your pyramid. Rebend the left knee, runner's lunge. And exhale, step quietly back, downward facing dog. Pause and rest or take a flow vinyasa, high push up, low push up, upward facing dog or a back bend of your choice and downward facing dog. And final round, I'll just prompt the shape so you can tune in and move with your own breath rhythm now. Right leg lifts, down dog splits, stepping up, rise and reverse your warrior. Triangle pose. Reverse your warrior. Runner's lunge twist. Right hand circles high. Pyramid pose, hands to frame your right foot. Lengthen on your inhale, fold on your exhale. Runner's lunge. Downward facing dog. Flow or take rest. We'll all meet up in downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left leg lifts. Left foot to your hands. Reverse your warrior. Triangle pose. Reverse your warrior. Runner's lunge twist. Left hand reaches up. Hands to the floor, pyramid variation. Fold with your out breath. Runner's lunge. Downward facing dog. Let's all flow now, high push up on your in breath, lower to your belly on your out breath. We'll pause here for skydiver pose, bending your knees, pointing your toes toward the ceiling and then goal post your arms. On your in breath, use your core strength to lift, so your inner elbows lift, thighs lift, back of your skull, stay for a few breaths, invite your breath to move through your shape. And then release in your own time, slow and unhurried now, press back to a child's pose, knees wide, so your chest can fall between your thighs. Just inviting the weight of your body to settle, your breath to calm down.
and then grow out a little longer through your arms and your fingers. Return to your downward facing dog. Last one here for the class. Take a long stride wide through your palms. Long and extended through the back of your body. From here, step your right foot to your hands. And walk a quarter turn around to your left for Prasarita Padottanasana. Angle your heels down, toes pigeon in. Lifting up onto the fingertips, open your chest forward. Fold and release between your legs. And as you linger, very gently roll your weight forward toward the fronts of your feet. Spiral your inner upper thighs in to broaden the space through your low back. On your inhale, lengthen your chest forward, come onto the fingertips and then walk around to your right foot. We're going to take a seat from here. If it's accessible, shoot your left leg through your arms, come to sit. Final spinal twist and fold before we rest. Janu Shisasana. From here, send your right leg out long and out to your right on a diagonal. Then bend your left knee, hug your left heel in toward your pelvis. On an inhale, raise your left arm up, turn to your right. And on your exhale, left thumb turns down, catch a hold outside of your right foot or your shin. Right hand can rest to the outer right leg there. So as you turn your chest to the right, let's find some length. Folding with the beat of your breath. And inhale to lengthen through the front of your spine. And exhale to fold. Inhale, release, lift your chest. And then cross your legs, right shin in front of your left shin. We'll take an easy forward fold. Arms reach up alongside your ears. Forward fold, walking the hands forward. And you might like to sway a little as you fold, nestle down toward the floor. Releasing any gripping through the outer hip. And walking your hands back in, we'll switch sides. Extend your left leg out long on a diagonal to your left. Right sole of your foot to your inner upper left thigh. Breathing in, reach your right hand high. Turn now to your left. Exhale, right thumb turns down. Catch the outside of the left foot or your shin. As you breathe in, invite your chest to shadow out over your left thigh. And then try and separate each rib from its neighbor, neighbor, softening and folding every time you breathe out there. Inhale, lifting and crossing your legs, left shin in front now. As you're ready, arms reach up. Find length, folding, softening forward. And then walking the hands back in. Grab any additional layers or props you may wish to have for final rest now, Shavasana. Taking these last few minutes to quiet your body and your mind. As you're ready, laying down on your mat, letting your feet and your arms fall wide. And let your shape now invoke a feeling of surrender, letting go, 
just for now. Just giving your mind the single task of simply following your breath. Begin to observe each breath as it grows shallow. And with each breath, invite yourself to become more relaxed and at ease. Rest now and I'll be back to guide you back. And gently drifting your awareness back. Take a few moments to stretch out, arms overhead, pointing, stretching your toes. And then gently gather your knees in toward your chest, curl into a little ball, lift the shoulders, the head, point the nose between your knees. And rest your head back, your feet to the floor. And then as you're ready, roll out to your right side. And press your way back up to sit. And thank you so much for joining me for this energizing flow. I hope you have a spring in your step for the rest of your day. Namaste.